All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a brief, although hopefully more organized, tutorial on data persistence and um, how to use the TinyDB component, along with a few other uh, components, such as some of the list components that might not be as obvious how they can be utilized. For this particular application, we're going to be making a note-taking application. Our design goals are going to be to type a quick note and have it stored in TinyDB have a simple tag tracking system so we don't have to muck about with sequential keys. Um, there's some, been some nice examples of a note system using sequential keys, but I don't want to mess around with that because, hey, this is simple, right? So if there's a simple way we can do it, let's try to do it simpler. So let's try to come up with a simple way. Uh, and then, of course, have the data be persistent, that from one application instance to another application instance, that the data is still there. The method we're going to be using is using the TinyDB for persistence, um, and we're going to use the title of a note for its tag. Having the titles load into a list picker when the app starts. We're going to store the note text and the title tag text in a TinyDB. We're also going to make sure there's sanity check for our tag system. Um, as you'll see, uh, it could get out of hand. All right. Uh, the components we're going to be using uh, are going to be the screen one uh, component. We're going to be using that um, to initialize data from previous instances of the application. We're going to be using the tiny DB uh, for data persistence. Um, it's very efficient at it and very fast as well. Uh, we're going to be using the list picker to load notes. Um, once data has been stored with its tag, we need that note tag uh, to be available, that title to be loaded when we want to see it again. Um, and then uh, we're going to be using uh, the buttons, three of them. Uh, some non-component blocks we'll be using is the if-else control block. Uh, we're going to be using a variable. We're going to be using the make a list, is in list, and the add to list components. All right. I have preloaded the components to save us time. Uh, we have 15 minutes on YouTube videos, so I want to keep this uh, within that. Um, also, just uh, don't want to waste your time dragging stuff around and naming it. What we've got here, though, is a uh, text box component for the title, and I have named that text box uh, component note title. Uh, I've also, in the uh, components named, um, named it the title box. You need to try to keep uh, naming conventions uh, in your components straightforward so that they don't get confused on the back end when you're building blocks out of them. We also have another uh, larger text box here, which I have set um, its height um, to 150 pixels and then fill parent wide, um, and that's the note box. So we've got a title box and note box. Remember that title box we're going to be using as a tag for uh, the data we're going to store. Then I've added three buttons, save note, load note, and new note. This load note isn't actually a button. It is a list picker. As you'll see here, we've added a list picker element, and it's going to be the list of uh, tags from the tiny DB that we have stored connected to a note. So you'll see right away that we're going to be storing two kinds of data in TinyDB. We will be storing the note data with a tag attached, this uh, note title, but we also need to store a list of the tags we have used because those tags are what we use to retrieve data from the TinyDB. Okay, so we've got the TinyDB element uh, added as well and then a new note button, which is a very simple function uh, as you'll see. All right. When we start to build the logic in a program, it's good to go back to our um, design document and uh, see what we wanted to do. Uh, we want to use the title of a note for its tag. So we need to store uh, our note and use the title for a tag. Well, we know what blocks we're going to be using already then. Uh, we'll go back here and we'll go to uh, our list of defined components here. 
and we're going to select that save button because we always need an event, a trigger to set things off. We're going to be using the save button uh, click. When the save button click, we're going to do some things. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to save the text in the note text box, okay? So we need a um, tiny db save function and it's called tiny db store value. So we're going to drag that out and put it in. So when this event happens, we're going to call this um, method here of uh, storing something. Well, what did we want to use for the tag? It was the title. Well, um, we called our title box, title box here. So we're going to grab the text. Here's the title box text block. And we're going to plug that into the tag. And what is it we were storing? Well, we want to store our note. So we're going to go to our note box and select the note box text. Note box text. At this point then, we're a long ways towards our goal of storing the data. Because whenever we click that save button on our interface, the um, data in the note box text is going to be stored uh, using the tag of the title box text. Very straightforward. But um, remember, we were going to use the uh, list picker to pull uh, that data out and load it. So we know we need to store every single time we use a tag, we need to store that somewhere so that it can be retrieved by the list picker and so it can be stored in TinyDB. Well, whenever we need to store something temporarily in an app, we use a variable. So uh, we're going to define a variable. We're going to call it note titles. Now, this will be used um, as a list because we'll be putting uh, more than one note title into it. So we need to go to the built-in blocks and grab a list block, a make a list block, I should say. And we turn this variable then into, in um, classical programming terms, what is known as an array. But in uh, App Inventor, we call that a list. So we're going to be storing the note titles in a list. Uh, how do we do that? Well, we know that to store something um, in here, we would use uh, my blocks, my definitions, and set global note titles too. However, if we do that when this is a list, we'll be overriding what's in the variable every time we click that save button. So we don't want to do that. Instead, we actually want to go back to the built-in list blocks, and we're going to use add items to list. So we'll be adding some items. And you'll see that this is a call, just like um, uh, the tiny db store value is a call and just like our uh, def definition of setting a global value to something is a call we can do something on a trigger we're going to add an item to the list what are we adding well we're adding adding these tags that we use here so we can actually just uh, i'm going to highlight that uh, title box text hit control and c and then control and v that copies it for me real convenient I plug it into the wrong hole. That's what we're adding there. We're adding the title bo box text to the note title. So we need to define in this call what list we're adding it to. So we'll go to my definitions and grab that global variable, which is actually a list for us. So every time then that we click the save button, it's going to store the text of the note with the tag of the title box. And now, add that title bo box text to the note titles. So we're getting very close to our design goals, but you'll see it gets a little more complex. Okay, so we've done that. What's our next step? Remember, we need to track between each instance of this application. In other words, when I turn the app off and when I start it back up, I need to um, keep track of what note titles have been used so I can use them to load notes back in and so I don't use them again as well. So I need to store the um, uh, list here in TinyDB as well. So I'm going to go back to TinyDB, grab a store value, 
And what am I going to uh, store? Well, I'm storing the note titles. So I'm going to go to My Definitions, grab the global my um, uh, the uh, global value variable note titles, and uh, now I need a tag. I'm just going to simply uh, text tag this with a text of note titles. So now every time this button is clicked, the entire uh, array or list here is going to be added to the tiny DB with a tag of note titles. That allows us then to pull out the note titles when the screen initializes and place them into the global variable um, and get ready to start. Now, when that save button is clicked, what else would we want to do? Well, we would want maybe to write another note. So we're going to clear those two text boxes as well boxes as well. Very straightforward. We're going to set the note box uh, text and set the title box text to a blank text value. And you'll see something I'm doing here is typing the word text. And it pulls up text. When I hit enter, it gives me a text block. I can just backspace space that out. Really simple way to create blocks. Uh, learn to type the words for the uh, built-in definitions you need, such as variable, procedure, procedure with result, text, etc., and it, you can define them very quickly. So, at this point, we can review and say that we are definitely storing the text, we are definitely uh, tracking those um, titles that we're using as tags, and we're storing those titles that we're using as tags to be retrieved later. So, as far as we can tell at this point, everything works great we're actually storing um, uh, the data and that's great but we also want to be able to load that data remember so we said we were doing that with the list picker and the list picker um, needs to have uh, its elements initialized you see here that there is a call uh, that is set the list picker elements to so at some point we need to set the list picker elements to um, this variable here the note titles because that's those tags that we're going to use. So uh, we're going to use the uh, screen one initialize that when the app first starts it's going to set the list picker one elements to what? Well the note titles. So we'll go and we will select my definitions note titles. Uh, however, you should be thinking in your head, wait, um, that note titles, when I stop an app, it clears that variable. When the, ver when the app loads, that variable is undeclared. In other words, there, is no, there are no tags in there. So this screen initialize needs to also load uh, the tags into that variable. Now, there are a couple of ways we could handle this. We could actually load the tags right out of the database into the list picker. I don't want to confuse the issue. Uh, it would be very tight programming, but right now we're talking about concepts. So we're going to use um, uh, set the note titles. So set the global note titles to what? Well, we're going to get the tiny DB get value, and we're going to plug it in there. We're going to say get um, the note titles. So we can copy that and place that there. What happens then when the screen initializes, the global variable of note titles is populated with whatever has been stored under the tag note titles. Then the list picker one elements is populated with those tags. So what happens um, when this list picker is selected. Well, let's set that up now. We know that the list picker in our interface is actually set up as the load note button. So we know what we want the list picker to do.